Hi, in this video I just wanted to show you quickly how to set up the new clean mem uh, for running your games and isolating your processes in order to allow your gameplay to be smoother when using um, games such as Fallout 3, Fallout New Vegas, Fallout 4 even, um, any game that you want to add to it. This will help the games perform um, much better by isolating the actual game process as you're running the game. So first you want to start off in Google or I'll put it in the link below also and I just put in clean mem and I normally get it here at Major Geeks. It came up as the first one so you just want to go to their page there and you'll find the outline and such and once you've um, once you're ready to download just choose one of the two download um, locations here and it should auto download within a few seconds um, and after you've saved the file just run it it has a new installer so it installs all the program for you and once it's finished installing then you actually will get the um, clean mem listed in the, um, the program listing and it will be running in the corner here there's one and you can also have it showing the amount of memory that's automatic in the new install it sets all that up um, what I want to show you is how to actually install the game exes into the new version so using either one of the two just double click it or as I showed you open it through the uh, program listing and you just want to go to menu here and you want to go to the start clean mem setting wizard and just click start leave that on default and that's on default. Now here you want to switch that to only, only list, and you're going to make up your own list. And I'll show you how to do that. So you go next, and at this screen, you then want to add any game exe um, that you want this to run with. And all you have to do is, if you're a Steam user, just go to your game library. Um, open up the right click and open up the properties go to local files and browse local files and then you can find your game exe and you just want to copy the name in this case it's Fallout 4 and then you just go here and you click on the plus and I've already added it but basically you just paste the name in and you would say OK and then you'll see it come up here and that way whenever you're running that game it will isolate the processes um, and allow the game to run a lot smoother which with the older follow games is quite helpful if your system is a bit older or such this um, works for any OS so 32-bit um, or 64-bit now what you want to do after you've enter the names there is click next and if this is the first time running it then you want to install the task schedule right here and then after that's done you want to click on the edit and this will bring up the task scheduler and you just want to go to the library here there are several tasks depending on what programs you have running um, NVIDIA stuff but what you're looking for is the clean system memory and you want to double click on that and then go to the triggers and you have two triggers here and what you want to do is set the time in it um, I usually set it at 10 minutes although um, I really don't have any problems with my game so I could probably set that higher um, try and stay between a, a 15 to 30 minute if you're um, quite happy with the game 
games performance and you don't have any games that normally crash after say um, five minutes so or sorry 15 minutes so then you would want to roll it back to the 10 minute setting I just set it at that because in the past um, games like Fallout 3 can run into random crashes and I just find that's a fairly good setting it's not too stressful on the computer and once you've set those to whatever time you're comfortable with then you just want to open the second one here and you want to make sure this time is set the same as the time that you have over there so if you set this one for 15 minutes in 15 minutes then you want this one here set at 15 minutes but it has to match okay you just want to make sure you do that and once that's done you just say okay and you can close this off and you just want to click finish now if you decide later you want to add some extras um, you'll just want to run through that process quickly again but don't change any of your settings just click through till this comes up and then add the game names in um, let's see Dead Island so properties local files browse local files and there's the exe and I'll just load that I'll copy and paste that sorry into this and say OK and as you can see now that game is added and you can just go through and add as many as you'd like um, because it's an only list it will only look for isolating the processes when it has one of the EXEs running if you're using things like the script extender um, you can add the name in such as foesloader.exe with the follow 3 and the launcher uh, whatever you you find is most helpful just go through and um, check your games sorry about that and just add them to the list once you're done again just click next and finish okay and as far as being able to tell that it's actually running you'll see this little indicator here one thing that you do want to do is set it to automatically start at Windows Startup and that way it will just run in the background and when you start your games you don't have to worry about um, running it or starting it it's just a matter of starting whatever game has been added to the list and it will take care of the rest I hope this was helpful and I'll talk to you again thanks a lot